define what I think organizing is. It's identifying, testing out, and training leaders in an institutional setting in a broad-based organization. They have to deal with the reality of the world as it is, and the reality of the world as it is, they don't have a lot of power. And they're going to have to go up against people who've got a lot of power, because power comes in two forms, organized people and organized money. If organized capital confronts it, organized people, organized capital always wins. How do we create that space, the space where people can do politics, can exercise public participation and engagement, and learn the skills of public participation in a way which is effective? People who don't want gain, don't want dishonest gain, that you can trust and you put them, some of them in charge of 10 people, another in charge of 50, 100, okay? And the big decisions, only the big decisions, you make yourself. The problem in any organization is not just creating a broad base of leadership, but giving, turning over, devolving over the power to them. If you can't figure out a succession plan, then you can't delegate. You can't do it by yourself. We need to figure out how to mine that same kind of culture in neighborhoods and communities, okay? And we best do that by creating an institutional strategy which is connected to teaching people how to be political. We're on the verge of losing a very precious identity. And the difficulty is that you end up with this tyranny of the experts who impose upon people solutions, okay, are, 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 which are based upon you know, the knowledge that they've accumulated as being experts rather than trying to figure out what it is that they ought to be doing. There's a skill that we all have to acquire and that is to be attentive, to learn how to listen, and to be recognized that most of our insights are going to come from other people. The American political tradition is about those people struggling to earn their right to engage and to participate in the public square. And you see it in the abolitionist movement, the civil rights movement, the women's movement, the gay rights movement. You see it in all kinds of movements where people that were considered marginal and outcast organized and have gotten the right to be part of that 